Hi guys and welcome back. Thanks for tuning back to our channel and today we are going to be talking about a very interesting case called the Bully Pie app. A very controversial one indeed. A quick disclaimer before we get into the video. This video contains a quite a number of uh, harmful or um, sensitive topics that we're going to talk about. So I would prefer you all to take the measures. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, what does the Bully Buy app do? What is it all about basically? The Bully Buy is nothing but an app, a software application that stimulates an online auction. Instead, it's hosted on a code repository and software collaboration platform called the GitHub. Basically, it's developed and made on GitHub. The app shows photos of more than hundreds and thousands of Muslim women taken from the internet and the social media and pretends to sell them through auctions. Now, who is behind all this bully by app contro controversy? 21-year-old Neeraj Bisnoi, the alleged mastermind behind the bully by app, was actually a bright student according to his college mates. Now we'll get into his personal information soon. The controversy context. Now what is the context behind all of this? Now why am I exaggerating so much? It's not a small incident as we think it is. But friends, it is a problem in our country and we need to focus on it. This is an issue called radicalization. This is the level of radicalization in our country right now. Take the Bully Buy app for instance. Similarly, there are apps called the Sully Deals app which was released last year and which targeted Muslim women and normal women especially for auction. It's, it serves the same purpose as the Bully Buy app did. We have other sites such as Telegram, Kick Messenger, Discord and Reddit which take pictures of Hindu women, generally women and misuse them and use them with derogatory content. The controversial app Bully Buy has been blocked by the hosting platform GitHub following the complaints of many users. The portal reportedly was launched on Saturday, that was January 1st, and contained a number of pictures of Muslim women, including journalists, social workers, students, and famous personalities, along with derogatory content and remarks. The women who lodged the complaint against the bully by works with an online news portal. In a complaint, she said, the term bully by itself means disrespectful and the content of the website or the portal is clearly aiming at insulting Muslim women. As the derogatory term bully is used exclusively for Muslim women and the entire website seems to have been designed with the intent of embarrassing them. She alleged that uh, the portal has displayed uh, her pictures in a very improper, acceptable, unacceptable and clearly lewd context. The uploading of pictures in the Bully by app was similar to the app that I mentioned before which was Siri Deals which happened July last year. The Bully by app worked just the same as the Siri Deals did. Once opened, a Muslim woman's face was randomly displayed on the Bully by app. Muslim women with a strong presence on Twitter, including journalists, have been ha, ha, have been a target of this controversy. Like Bully Buy, the Silly Deals was also hosted on GitHub. Two FIRs were filed by the Delhi and the Uttar Pradesh police station in the Silly Deals incident last year, but no action was taken against it. The Shiv Sena MP Priyanka Chaturvedi on Saturday flagged the Bully by app to Mumbai police as well as the Union IT Minister for actions including the arrest of the culprits. In a tweet late on Saturday evening, the IT Minister said the GitHub confirmed blocking the user in mourning itself. He did not elaborate on the action being taken though. The Government of India is working with the police organization in Delhi and Mumbai on this matter, said the IT Minister Ashwin. 
the union government had cited offending content against women as one of the reasons for framing the new digital rules that called the intermediates for identifying moving on we have that we do know that there were silly deals as you can see which played almost similar with the bully by app in july last year an app the website called the silly deals was created profiles of more than 80 muslim women using photos they upload online and describe them as deals of the day though the police began an investigation no one had been charged yet a few more people have been detained for questioning we will investigate this case to its logical end now these were the statements given by the police and the authorities before they could catch the culprits and after catching them let's look into who are the culprits who are the accused behind this controversy earlier this week mumbai police arrested three other people vishal kumar jha a 21 year old engineering student in the southern city of bengaluru and two other students swetha singh 18 years old and mayank rawat 21 in the northern state of uttarakhand a spokesperson for github said that the company had suspended a user account over the app all of which violated their policies talking about vishal vishal is an engineering student a second year engineering student who resides in bangalore now what are the punishments or what has he been booked under under ipc sections 153a promoting enmity between different religious groups 153b prejudice to social integration 295a acts intended to outrage the religious feelings of any class 304 354d such as stalking 10509 word gesture or act intended to insult modesty of a woman and 500 that is defamation he was also booked under the it act section uh, 67 publishing or transmitting obscene material in electronic form now these sections as i have mentioned are applied to the other accused as well The police claim that Shweta Singh, an 18-year-old, is the main accused. They, that is Vishal and Shweta, both the accused were friends on Facebook and Instagram. She was heading at least three accounts related to the Bully Buy app. An 18-year-old who was just a 12th pass made use of women in a very inappropriate manner just for money. Highlights. The highlights are Neeraj Bisnoi who is the main mastermind the culprit for all of this the developer for the app a computer science student engineering has been arrested by the police in Delhi police from Jhorat Assam on Thursday like the silly deals bully buy was created and hosted on a platform called the GitHub these apps are not on any other app stores but A similar Google search can lead you to the APK files for these apps. The listed women on the app included several journalists, a Bollywood actor, and a 65-year-old mother of a disappeared Indian student. The fake auction shocked the angered, shocked and angered people after several women who featured on it shared screenshots and messages on social media. These pictures were basically taken without their consent and used from a 19-year-old to a 65-year-old woman was defamed on this app. In July last year, an app and website called the Silly Deals as I mentioned before was created and one of the victims said I was put on sale online because I am a Muslim. As I also mentioned before it was mainly to target muslim women the silly deals app and bully deals app was basically made for the muslim women so that they can be defamed using derogatory content as well 
Now let's talk about the timeline of the bully by case to have a clearer picture, to have a clearer view of what and all happened. Earlier this week, the Mumbai police arrested three others, that is Vishal Kumar, as I mentioned before, Shweta Singh and Mayank Rawat. First, on the Bully Buy app, on the app that was made on GitHub, photos of thousands of Muslim women were taken from social media without their permission and was auctioned off as Bully Buy of the Day. The matter came to light on Jan 1st and an FIR was filed on Jan 2nd. The Mumbai police on Jan 3rd arrested Vishal Kumar Ja, a 21-year-old a resident of Bengaluru. Then they arrested Shweta Singh, an 18-year-old resident of Uttarakhand. On 4th of Jan, the Bandra court sent Vishal to the police custody till 10th of Jan. On 5th Jan, the Mumbai police detained another resident of Uttarakhand, Mayank Rawat. Now this was just a case, a very controversial case that spoke about how women were targeted. It is sad indeed that in this case there was a lady involved, a lady mastermind involved and defaming other women. Where is feminism in all of this? Where is women empowerment all of this? When women themselves bring down other women? And there are hundred and many questions to be answered. But most of the time these questions go unanswered. Now we know that the accused are getting the punishment they deserve. And let's hope that they get a very severe, severe punishment. So that this would never, ever, ever happen again. So stay safe and we'll see you next time.